loves welcome back to my channel i am halicia but i go by lee and if you're new here i typically do videos on travel fashion beauty and natural hair every now and then so please make sure that you like comment and subscribe but i'm gonna get straight into what you came here for which is designer versus the dupe which one are we rooting for? Which items do I think is worth it, the designer or the dupe? In my opinion, a dupe is like an item that resembles the designer version of the item. And a replica is like, I want to be exactly that thing. It typically involves logos and, and such. I know that the lines get blurred a lot. For me, it still gets very blurry. It's foggy. Because not all designer items have logos on them. I guess the best way to do it is stick with what you're comfortable with and then go forward as such. But I'm going to start with the obvious and probably one of the most popular items on the internet at the moment. And that is the Bottega Drop Earrings. Now, I don't own the earrings at all i would never actually purchase them so you already know where this is about to go those earrings last time i checked retail for more than a thousand dollars and they are not solid now the earrings are stunning and i started off with these like the normal small gold drop earrings the one that everybody has and i'm not gonna lie i was wearing these down right and then i picked up the larger ones which is what i have in now now in terms of size comparison it's crazy i already made a tiktok about it so i'm not going to get too much into the size comparison but initially when i bought the large gold ones off the zone because you know amazon is going to do what she needs to do it took about a month to come now they're all on prime and they're all probably under about 25 30 dollars somebody even told me that they were on shein but I don't order from Shein, so, you know, pick your poison. However, these earrings are absolutely stunning. And for $25, $30 or less, I'm absolutely going to go with the dupe. The designer version was never on my list. I love the earrings, but I would never spend that much money on any kind of, I guess, jewelry, like costume jewelry item. I need for it to be a precious metal, and for that price point, I need solid gold. Like, it, it could have been, like, solid gold and solid white gold versus, like, plated sterling silver. And what's so great about it is that literally pretty much every version of the Bottega drop earrings has some form of a dupe. Even the colorful ones, like the green ones, are like the burgundy ones. These, like, little swirl, it almost looks like a shaving like if you were to peel an orange perfectly or how people like have those apple peelers they even have these i got these off of amazon and i think that these are stunning i have them in silver and gold but i also have another dupe now i'm a little hesitant to share this dupe because i'm pretty sure that it is sold out but it's from a black owned brand and the name of the brand is koi she in her last collection she dropped these now when y'all see these you're gonna be blown away and i think that i paid maybe about 50 bucks for these but tell me these don't eat just look at them like get into them to me, they're very similar to the Bottega Drop Earrings, but just even more beautiful. They have this like gold drip at the top, and they're this huge clear bulb, and they are very similar to this larger size. Not the exact same, obviously, but still very similar. So I think that for this one, we don't even really have to get into which one I would buy. It's going to be dupe all day. The next thing that I have been seeing that I found super trendy and I thought was cute, but it was an item that I was like unsure about, like still kind of on the fence about, and it is from Loewe. To me, Loewe is one of probably the most popular high fashion brands on the market right now. I feel like Loewe is just killing it in the game. I feel like they're dropping so many stunning pieces. They're doing an amazing job, which is why they're being duped 
and the product that i saw that was super trendy are the shield sunglasses now these sunglasses run for anywhere in between five six hundred dollars amazon did it again now the reason i picked these up because was because honestly I wasn't sure about if I would love the sunglasses or not and I just think that that price point for sunglasses is just too high I, I that's just personally how I feel I think that that's way more expensive than any pair of sunglasses should be $600 for sunglasses is crazy that's insane but Amazon has these and to me they look extremely similar I picked up the yellow pair and it's like this brown tinted lens I feel like on camera it's showing up brighter than what it is but in person it's more of like this mustard shade and here's what they look like I'm not gonna lie I don't love them but I don't hate them I think that they're wearable but they're not just something that I would be like oh my gosh this is it and this is where I think that dupes can be like important had I spent that type of money on some sunglasses I would have been devastated heart broken tore down I wouldn't have got my cost per rare out of the sunglasses the other thing was my bestie bought these and she has like a much smaller head and i didn't even realize this honestly until we would both put on like if we both wore the same sunglasses they look totally different on us and it's just because her head is a lot smaller and these cover like half of her face like it, it was a lot and so I do think that this is just going to be like kind of like one of those really trendy pieces that only works for a certain group of people. I don't think that it's going to be for everybody. I already think that the shape of the sunglasses, the style of the sunglasses is kind of over the top and it is pretty playful also. So I already know it's going to limit the pool. And because they are so big, listen... I would go with the dupe. The dupe is on Amazon. All of the dupes that I've seen are probably less than $20. And I think that this is a great way to just try it out. Even just see if you like it. I would never purchase the real ones. Me personally, again, because I just don't love these. They are cute. Let me see. But I just don't think they're worth it. So we're going to go with the dupe. Speaking of Loewe, I have the red inflated sunglasses. Y'all know I posted these on my Paris haul because that was when I got them. I absolutely love these sunglasses. Like, I can't say enough good things about them. And I know that Amazon has duped these to the ground. I feel like there's so many dupes of these sunglasses out here that is just almost like unrealistic that people are not really even interested in them. But I did find another dupe that I do feel like is actually a dupe on Urban Outfitters. And to me, it gives the similar vibes of this inflated collection, but it's not the same. Like, it's much more understated. It's much more streamlined. It's not as exaggerated and playful as these. Like, if you see or feel or touch these in person, even the Amazon ones are nothing like this. They are nothing like this. Now, for me, these are going to be a staple. I'm going to keep these in my collection partly because of the sentimental value that they have, like the story that I have behind them, but also just because I consider these as like a wearable work of art. So I still look at them as like a very statement piece. And knowing that these are the actual Loewe ones that I bought at Loewe is, is just, yeah, it just gives, it eats. And I think that they look really beautiful on my face, but having this option, I thought about getting these and maybe like a blue or even the silvery ones because you can kind of see the similarities in between the Loewe ones and the dupe that I'm referring to. I just think that this is a better option. Now, we're off of sunglasses, but I'm not done with Loewe. I don't know if it was like the beginning of this year or last year, Loewe dropped these double-waisted denim jeans and I feel like they just kicked off this trend of this doubled waist this layered waist little situation and I love it I love how 
almost like asymmetrical and interesting it is it looks like layers but it's not actually layers but it gives but the loewe version is pretty much sold out i think i was able to find maybe like two links to them but not to the original version of the jeans now considering that i haven't seen pretty much any other brand actually dupe them we've seen the double waisted but not like loewe did it up until now and baby this is a good one now the loewe jeans retail for about 1200 give or so they're at least a stack i'm pretty sure i think maybe i found one pair for like 900 dollars. but listen zarin said we got you Zarin said we gonna get the girls together and as soon as I saw these on the website it was like immediately add to cart I just feel like these are probably the closest version to the Loewe jeans now of course for me with Zara I typically have to go a size up in their jeans or they won't fit around my hips and then I have to go get them tailored and get that waist snatched in I always do that and that's no problem for me because that's what I prefer. These jeans are coming in right at $90 and they are stunning. I feel like the weight is there, the quality is there, and the, the design to me is the closest to the Loewe jeans. The wash is not the same, which I truly appreciate because it's not like they were fully knocking off the jeans. And also Loewe has that brown kind of leather logo patch in one of the pockets of the jeans and the zara ones don't now the other thing that i love about the zara jeans is that the loewe ones are like straight across they're extremely symmetrical zara said we're gonna put a little twist on it and we're going to make them like a little slanted they even continued the design on the back they continued it with the double illusion pockets i just think that they just did an absolutely amazing job with these jeans and I would highly recommend them. And for that price point, you're paying less than a tenth of the price for a product that is very similar. And considering that it's denim, we're going to go with the dupe. But listen, girls, the dupes are duping. This is an amazing pair of jeans for your wardrobe. And the greatest thing about denim is that it never goes out of style. This is timeless. It's classic. So... You can invest $90 in these. My tailor typically charges maybe about $20 for the waist. So that puts me at about $110 for an amazing pair of denim jeans that's going to fit me so properly. It looks so sickening that the girls are going to gag. We love these. So good job to Zara on these. Let's get into some shoes. One pair of shoes that I have just been seeing probably now for about two years everywhere. And I was like, man, I really want these shoes. But I was unsure about, I guess, paying the price point for them. The price point is actually not that bad. I think that the cheapest price that I saw was maybe like $800. And they went up to maybe like $1,400. And it is the Prada Sling Back Heels. I feel like this is just a classic shoe. And what I loved most about them was not only that the silhouette was just so classic, but but that they had like that sportiness to them and that the heel was really low. So in my mind, it was like, oh, these shoes not only look comfortable, but they look classy. To me, it these shoes are like the perfect bridge between sneakers and a pair of heels because although I like heels, they're cool, they're cute you know comfort to me is still key and i have to think realistically like i don't want to walk around the streets in heels like it's just not realistic i don't want to go shopping in heels i don't heels to me are more of a get out of the car walk directly to your destination a short journey sit down back to the car you know it's like a dainty thing it's like a very girly thing because realistically stumping around for miles or even just a mile in a pair of heels it's insane okay and i know the girls they like to tussle with me a lot because i'm gonna throw on the sneakers so i just felt like this shoe was like 
it was for me like the Prada Sling Back Kills and I still have them on my wish list but y'all when I show y'all this dupe the dupe is gonna eat it up okay the good good girlfriends over at Tony Bianca came out with these Sling back. They actually have two heel heights. I think that this one is like two and a half inches. They even have this little triangle on the toe that's very reminiscent of the Prada shoes. Sling back. And the best part about them is that these are in leather. Now, the color selection isn't as broad. Because y'all know, any if you know anything about Tony Bianco, they're going to give you basic. They're going to give you your neutrals. And typically, when they do any other pops, it's like a pink or a blue. But you're never going to see them with like an orange or yellow or a lime green. They're, they just don't do it or a purple or nothing like that. And the greatest thing about Prada is that the Celine Back Heels come in like this variety of colors and heel heights but i did pick up two pair and i have two other pair on my wish list because i really want the gold version i just think that that's just gonna it's gonna do something it's very much so gonna give something and i was thinking the blue version and but i haven't bit the bullet and bought two more pair of these but definitely they're on my wish list and i love these i have not worn the white ones but the ones that i did wear and that's why i can attest to what i said is the pink baby when i say i wore these for like eight hours walking like out and about look at the bottom and they were amazing because they are leather i do feel like i had to kind of break them in a little bit like right around like that third or fourth hour it was getting real tight around the toe and I think that I needed to like stretch out the leather a bit but it was like a, it was fine like if I just took my shoe off kind of let my toes breathe a little bit and then put it back on I was good to go so I would highly recommend these and these come in under $200 versus your eight to fourteen hundred dollar ones I still want like two pair of the Prada ones I have on my wish list right now, but I'm not in the market to really spend a lot of money on designer things. I got other things that I'm trying to do. Okay, other bigger and better things that I'm trying to do. So for now, these are going to do, and because I think this is more of a classic style, I feel like they're just going to be around for some time anyway. So I might just go ahead and bite the bullet on the other two pair of tony bianco ones that i want and then go from there i think that these are going to be great for fashion week too and honestly these just work well in my wardrobe because i like wide leg pants or just wider leg bottoms just looser bottoms and just having this little sleek pointed toe mm, is just amazing and now that we're just kind of still in like the shoe category just chatting about shoes mew mew now, Janae really put the these Mew Mew shoes on the map. I saw Janae wear them and the Notorious Kia. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are cute. Like, and I was intrigued because, again, I'm a sneaker girl. I like comfort. And that was all I could think about when I saw the shoes. I was like, those look really comfortable. And it's like they give heel, but they they give boot but they give comfortable. They they were just giving me like a lot of things, but I wasn't really sure if I was going to like them. And so I was like, let me, let's do a little Google. So I got, you know, and these shoes, the Mew Mew, I think they're called knee high boots, something like that. They cost $2,000. And I guess. Because I was just not expecting that price point for this particular shoe. And I've seen the Jeffrey Campbell version of the shoe, like the dupe. But the Jeffrey Campbell dupe, um, it's like $200. Now, I, I do think that that is a great dupe, but I think I got something better. I think that I have something better. The Good Good Girls over at Charles and Keith came through. And I ordered these. They said they were on pre-order, but then they shipped like two days later. So I don't know what that's about. These were under $90. And these are amazing. They are faux leather. 
which I am okay with because for the price point, amazing. And also, as I looked at these shoes, and I think that they're so cute, and I do think that they will last for a little bit of time, maybe like a year or two, but I do also view them as a heavily trendy item. Like, I don't see them staying in my wardrobe for 10 years. I don't see them staying in my wardrobe for five years. I see them staying in my wardrobe for maybe like two to three years, give or take. And maybe not even that long, like the Prada ones. I know those, that silhouette is just classic. Like it's been around since your grandma, okay? But these are, are a lot more trendy. Definitely because of this kind of like boot and heel sandal situation. So I think that the price point on these is perfect. And the only really major difference outside of the material of the shoe is the toe the toe on these are square and i actually prefer square toe so it just fits it looks better on my feet personally than a super round toe my toes are, are kind of like petite they're a little narrower so i do like that this kind of fills this out now the only negative thing about this is i think i got these in a 37 which would equate to like a seven and Charles and Keith d didn't do half sizes, so I had to kind of choose either between a 6 or a 7, and I went with the 7, but I really should have went with the 6. The thing about it is that you won't be able to tell, though, because the heel is covered. If you have long toes, these are going to work for you. Charles and Keith gives you, like, a lot of toe space. I guess you could say, and I don't need a lot of toe space, but they give it to you, but that's really good because... I, I know for some people that have longer toes and the toes be hanging over the edge of the shoes and it's just not cute. So this is going to give you, I guess, exactly what you need. Now, I'm definitely going to go with the dupe on this because I just don't think that it's going to stand the test of time. Like, I just can't foresee myself wearing them for that long. And I also, I know for me, my normal kind of shoe... I guess of choice is typically a sneaker so for like heels and sandals i really just added this to my wardrobe out of necessity but not out of like oh my gosh i just really want that so this for me is going to be definitely we're going with the dupe and the last item i actually have the designer and the dupe i am a huge fan of cargos cargo pockets belt bags all of the things and the Attico came out with like this cargo pocket belt bag situation that was kind of hard to come by so i just love this because i love that it has so many compartments it's a belt bag you can kind of adjust it you can take it off and i personally do sometimes like being hands-free or i like doubling these up because i typically carry really many bags so i could kind of wear this as an accessory but it's functional and then i could top it off with like one of my super cute little mini bags because that's just that's what i like so i do love this but i do also feel like it's expensive for what it is and then girl zara said i got you now i do think that this is more of a dupe i have this in two colors denim belt bag on zara for 35 dollars it's not 35 it's definitely under that and it does the same thing obviously it's not exactly the same but listen it's a dupe it's a denim belt bag and that is a denim belt bag so here we go there they give similar vibes to me and they serve pretty much the same purpose now the only difference in this version in the white version I might have to go get it. But in this version, you can't adjust the pockets. And so that's the only thing. I can't slide this. I can't move this. It's like I have to wear it like this. But in the white one, also from Zara, the pockets are different. They're a lot, like, I guess you could say larger. And initially when I got it, you couldn't adjust these pockets. The pockets were literally sewn to this belt with, like, one seam. And so I literally just took a seam ripper, I ripped out that seam, and then I was able to adjust the pockets. Easy little DIY. It took me like two or three minutes, and it still gives the same thing. And this, to me, is super functional, 
super functional i've already worn this several times i absolutely love it and i just think that it works it's something that for me moving forward i'm definitely going to go with the dupe i also think that this is a trendier items because we've seen belt bags kind of like come and go and although i'm a belt bag girl like I, I like them i think that they're really cute um i know that they they have their waves and right now they're kind of on a wave but more in the cargo style and i think that that's great because it's a it's a better way for me to reintroduce my older belt bags into my wardrobe now especially the ones that are like more oversized so if there's any other pieces that you want me to cover for designer or dupes let me know in the comments below if there's any other fashion related videos that you guys want to see also drop them below make sure that you like comment and subscribe i love you and i'll see you in my next video Bye.